Hi yogis, Miss Cassie here. We are going to need a scarf today. It could be a handkerchief or a bandana or a tissue or a washcloth or a movement scarf. And this is for the older kiddos, ages four to six. All right, let's start with our sun breath. So we'll sit up tall, take a big breath in, reach up high, grab some sun, pull it to your heart and go, ha! Big breath in, reach up high, pull it to your belly, go, ha! Deep breath in, reach up high, grab some sunshine, pull it to your heart and go, ha! Rub your hands together, rub, 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 rub. Sit up tall, big breath in. Let's grab our scarf. Let's do a little bit of breath work with our scarf. So you can squeeze it into a little ball so it's hidden. Take a deep breath in and then blow on it. Big breath in. Squeeze it into a little ball. It's like a magic trick. Can you try it? Like a snowball. Squeeze it together. Hide it in your hands. You can't see it. And then deep breath in through your nose. Blow out through your mouth. Woo Let's try it again. Can you do it? you can blow it forward. Put it on your hand. Hand flat as a pancake. Place your scarf on your hand. Look at it. Big breath in. And blow it off your hand. You do that? Sometimes we do it with feathers. But maybe we can all do it with our scarf. Is it harder with a washcloth or a bandana? Try it one more time. Good. And then let's go down low with our scarf and then throw it up in the air. Woo! Go down low with your scarf and then throw it up in the air. Woohoo! Let's try that a couple more times. Low, low, low. Woo! Low, 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 low. Throw it up in the air. Woohoo! Good. Let's do some circles with our scarf. Big circles with one arm. Can you go the other direction? Try the other direction. Oops. Big circles with the other arm. Go in the other direction. You can do little circles. Little circles. We do full body circles. Twirl with your scarf. Full body circles. Mm. This is good for our balance. Can we go in the other direction? Ooh. Are you getting dizzy? Can you reach your scarf up high? Can you bring your scarf down low? Can you reach your scarf up high? Can you bring your scarf down low? Touch your toes with your scarf, touch your toes. Reach up high with your scarf, reach up high. Go down low, go down low, go down low. Can you turn around and wave your scarf in between your legs? Hello. Hello. Can you see my scarf? Hello. All right, let's make our scarf a tail, like a dinosaur tail. Did you know we have a bone right here called our tailbone? Yes, we do. Put it on your tailbone, wag your tail side to side. My tail is pink. What color is your tail? Like a dinosaur. A dinosaur tail. Like an elephant. Can you make an elephant sound? Let me hear your elephant sound. Like a puppy dog? 
Right here, your puppy dog bark. Wag your tail side to side. All right, let's put our scarf on our head. Scarf on your head and then see if you can do a tree pose with your scarf on your head. Tree pose. Mountain pose. Strong and tall like a mountain. Try not to lose your scarf. Tree pose. Mountain. Let's try warrior two. Can you keep your scarf on your head and do warrior two? Let's say, I am strong on the count of three. One, two, three. I am strong. Let me hear you. I am strong. Good. Let's try the other foot forward. Reach your arms apart. I am strong. One, two, three. I am strong. Good work, yogis. All right, let's try a big kid pose. Can you try a big kid pose? You'll wrap your foot up with your scarf and reach your foot forward with your scarf. You can touch the wall if you need to or a friend. Hold hands. Woo. We're just practicing. It's okay if we fall out. We practice to get better, not to be perfect. Got to really focus your eyes. All right, let's try the other foot. Wrap it around your foot, and then try to reach your foot forward. Stand up tall. Stare at one spot on the ground. Ask for help if you need help. Good work, yogis. All right, let's come to sit. Let's make our scarf a paddle. So boat pose, feet up, oars out, and then make your scarf a paddle. Row. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Speedboat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Can you put it on your belly? Put your scarf on your belly. Lift your scarf up. Scarf up. Lift your booty, and we'll be a crab. And then let's do a crab dance party. Do 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 Drape your scarf over your rock, and rocks don't talk. Be as quiet as a rock. Oh, good. All right, good rock gardens. Let's pick up one foot with our scarf. Can you pick up one foot with your scarf? Do you feel the stretch somewhere in your body? Where do you feel it? Do you feel it in your leg? Do you feel the stretch in your back? Where do you feel it? I feel it right here in the back of my leg. All right, let's see if we can keep our foot up, but go all the way down. Oh, good. Still holding our scarf, putting our foot up in the air. Try to do the look mom, no hands version. Take your hands off of it. So now you're just using your strong leg muscles to keep your scarf up in the air. Let's see if we can hold it up there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze yourself into a little ball. Bring your scarf to your belly. Rock up. No hands. You can use your elbows, but no hands. See if you can do it without your hands. If you need to use your elbows to help you up, no problem. Oh, did you get it? Clap your hands and your feet. Hands and feet. All right, let's get the other foot. Hold it up in the air. Is this side harder or easier than the other side? It's a little easier for me. All right, let's slowly lower down. Now you're holding both 
of your, your scarf ends, keeping your foot up there using your hands. And then let's do the no hands version, just using your strong leg muscles. Let's count to 10 in Spanish while we hold it up there. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Can you squeeze it with both feet up in the air? Give it a big hug with both feet. Both feet. Oh, good work, yogis. Come into a little ball. Rock up to a seat. No hands. Woohoo! One more. Good job. All right, can we lasso like a horse? Our handkerchief over our feet, both of our feet. Can you do it? Oh, that's a big stretch. Mm, both feet. You got both feet? Okay, pull yourself towards your legs. Where do you feel this stretch? Where do you feel it in your body? In your legs? All right, let's put it on our bottom again, on our tail. This time it'll be our tail for our puppy dog. So pin your scarf on your tailbone. And then let me see your puppy dog pose. Woof, woof, woof. Uh-oh, I lost my tail. Woof, woof, woof. Can you keep it up there and lift one puppy dog leg? Woof, woof, woof. Lift the other puppy dog leg. Woof, woof, woof. Let me hear your bark. My puppy dog is hot. Oh, all right, good work, yogis. Let's put it on our head like a hat and let's do our butterfly pose. Let me see your butterfly wings. Let me see your butterfly antennas. Can you reach both of your wings up high? Can you wave one of your butterfly wings over to one neighbor? Hi neighbor. Can you wave the other butterfly wing over to the other neighbor? Hi neighbor. Good work. All right, let's take our scarf. Mm, let's put it in our lap. Crisscross your applesauce, put your scarf in your lap. Okay. We're gonna say hello to a little friend. Who is this? Who is this with his tail and his wings? Who is this? It's a dragon. Can you say hi, dragon? Hi, dragon. What color is he? Green. Very good. He's a calm dragon. You know why? Why are you so calm? He's so calm because he takes deep breaths. That's why he's a calm dragon. Let's see if we can be calm like you, okay? Show us how you do the breaths. Does anybody know what dragons breathe out? What do they breathe out of their mouths? Fire. Yes, 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 yes. Fire. All right, big breath in. Fire breath out. <sighs> Deep breath in, fire breath out. <sighs> Let's add the wings. Let's add the wings like he has. All right, but we have our arms. So big dragon breath in and then fire breath out. <sighs> We're breathing out all the anger that we have in our body. If we're feeling mad or sad or angry, breathe it out. <sighs> so we can be a calm dragon. Oh yes, very good. All right, thank you for teaching us how to be a calm dragon, how to take deep breaths. Can we say bye-bye? Bye-bye, bye-bye, say namaste, namaste. <laughs> okay, now let's use our little scarf and we're gonna put it over our belly. So we'll lay down on our backs, spread out like a starfish, and you can tuck yourself in. You can put it over your belly like you're tucking yourself into bed. Once you spread out like a starfish, you'll close your eyes and you've got your scarf over your belly and you'll breathe your belly up and down. So we'll keep taking calm breaths so we can calm down in our body. Taking a body rest. So if you are resting your body and taking big belly breaths with your scarf, a little dragonfly is gonna come visit. I'm gonna ring the bell to see if the dragonfly is nearby and will visit quiet yogis who are resting their body. This is the dragonfly's favorite place to visit because it's so peaceful and quiet.
dragonfly can only land on you if you're laying flat as a pancake. And if you're still and quiet and taking big belly breaths. yogi friends so stay quiet stay still while the dragonfly is visiting all my friends at kids work and all my friends at their house I'll play the fairy bell yogis the dragonfly has flown away let me ring the bell so we all know it's safe to come up to crisscross applesauce crisscross your sauce did you see the dragonfly did you see the dragonfly while you were resting or were your eyes closed all right for today let's go hey 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 namaste namaste yogis thank you for doing yoga with me i'll see you next time